Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. This is going to be another on-site video. I've already done two other videos about this site, but this site has been done in stages. I wanted to get some of the Unify access done today, but it was raining fairly heavily, so we'll have to do that in a separate video. In this video, we're going to end up terminating some CAT6 cables. We'll install some access points as well as some G4 dome cameras. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to hire me for network consulting or for network cabling work, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do now have a Ubiquity affiliate link and I'll post that below. So without further ado, let's get to today's video. All right, so we're back at this job today. You would have seen this done in previous videos. We have some cameras, we have access points, we have uh, a bunch of Ubiquity gear. I still need to terminate some cables and we need to do access control which we may not be able to get to today, but we might do one or two doors. In the center here, we're gonna end up putting a U6LR, and then in the far corner, we're gonna end up putting a G4 dome, as well as this corner. The first thing we installed was the Unify U6LR access point. I put an RJ45 end on the cable, and we make sure that we put the rubber grommet so that dust doesn't get into the ethernet port of the U6LR. And then I test it with my Link Runner 2 by Nat Alley. Now it's time to start installing the G4 dome cameras. We also put the rubber grommet on the cable for the G4 dome cameras so that dust doesn't get into the Ethernet port. I'll put an RJ45 end on and then plug the camera in. We need to put the mount on and also test the cable with my Link Runner Nat Alley tester. We now move to the top floor in this building, and this building has four floors. We're putting in six Unify 6 LR access points. It's now time to start dressing the network cables and there were 20 remaining cables that we need for data and for our cameras. The remaining cables that are in here are for Unify access which we'll be putting in in the next time we go back to this job site. When dressing in the cables I could do it by hand but I used a cable comb for this instance and we're using velcro straps. All the cables are bundled together and now it's time to cut them to length and then get them terminated. For the terminations, I'm using vertical cable VMAX CAT6 keystone jacks with a keystone patch panel. We're also using the eye punch tool by vertical cable to do the terminations. And this is my favorite part of the whole job, which is patching in our keystone jacks into the switch. We use six inch slim patch cables. On the right hand side, you notice quite a bundle of DAC cables. We are waiting on smaller DAC cables to make that look neater. Before we finish work for the day, we're going to install two more G4 dome cameras.
So we're getting closer to finishing this build. We ended up terminating 20 more Cat6 cables, and those were for data jacks and a few cameras. Um, we have more camera cables up here and more data. And that's going to be it for this on the site job video. I had a lot of fun doing it. After one more trip, we should be done. We still need to do some cable cleanup. We need to do Unify Access and we need to do the labeling for it. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're buying Ubiquiti gear and you'd like to support my channel, please use my affiliate link. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon and I'll see you in the next on the site job video.